There are two public health crises, COVID and also the awakening of many people about how racism is so pervasive. We often engage with poverty as an economic issue. It's actually a social justice one. Justice is a community issue. We don't have a poverty system in this country that works. We have a poverty system that is a poverty prison. The systems in place almost virtually make it impossible for somebody to move out of generational poverty. Women are twice as likely, if they're single moms, to be at the poverty level. You can't pay your rent. You've got medical issues with your child. You have educational challenges for yourself. It's not necessarily always safe. Jobs that don't pay enough for people to build wealth. A child that is raised in not just poverty, but being homeless, they may never recover. Jeremiah oh, wow. is one of the nation's most successful strategies to end the cycle of poverty for single moms and their children two generations at a time. Providing safe, affordable housing for career track, college education, on-site early childhood education for their children, life skills and empowerment training, and then this community of support. Things started getting rocky for me is when my parents got separated. My dad had a gambling addiction, and when he left the home is when um, I started looking to different things. A lot of fear, and there was definitely a lot of anger. From ages 12 to 15, um, my, my drug abuse went to addiction and that's when I first started um, experimenting with methamphetamine. For 10 years, I was um, in different chemical dependency treatments. My um, mental health was never addressed. I was never in a supportive, structured place for long enough. When I turned 18, I um, made a bad decision and I was seeing somebody who was using drugs and I ended up getting pregnant with my first son, Justice and moved in with my kid's dad. He was really um, emotionally, physically abusive, involved in crime, criminal behavior. So my dreams and hopes for the future would be doing local social work, victim advocacy for women in recovery or people that struggle with mental health. Having Grace with me, um, is another reminder of just what I've overcame and that I am supposed to be a mother to her and that keeps me going throughout the day is God's grace and my grace. For a mom to be a participant in Jeremiah program, um, they have to be attending college, they have to be working or volunteering part-time, their children have to be going to the Early Learning Center, the Child Development Center, they have to be meeting with their family coaches, uh, they have to be attending weekly life skills classes. My mom, she had a drug addiction. She was using drugs when I was born. We've never lived in a place for more than a year. Um, in and out of shelters, foster care. Childhood wasn't really childhood because we had to worry about like survival. I struggled a lot with like behaviors though. Like I fought a lot, I fought a ton. I fought a ton in middle school and high school. I started just to know like there was more to life. You know, I start reflecting on my childhood and I didn't want to be like my mom or what I've seen. I knew like I could do more, like I knew I was smart and I've always had it in me, like I can do more. And that's when I started getting introduced to like the healthcare field. And I decided to do the CNA program and I decided to do the PCA program. And at that time I was working in long-term care and I started to see there's nurses, there's doctors, there's more. I have Marley and Riley. I was very scared to be a mom because I didn't know what a mom was. So I was never taught the I love yous, the hugs, the kisses, like I knew I had to do that. I just didn't think that I could be like a good mom, like I would be enough. So yeah, I really, now I'm gonna get emotional. Yeah, like, I, um, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a holistic training that when we say that the moms are empowered through this, it's both psychologically and then just the fundamentals, right? You're giving them the educational foundation, you're developing the skills. They show up every week, they do their homework, they're engaged. Um, they start to recognize this is a long-term commitment and there's gonna be a long-term change. When they start believing in themselves, it really does change who they are. Knowing that education is the greatest weapon to, to change a life and change the world. We take people from a lower 10% economic, uh, and then we take them to an upper economic, just from getting a, a two-year degree, where they can go from a, an hourly wage to a salary wage and you get a family sustaining wage from picking a career. There are barriers um, in front of this talent that has been created by society, by their situation. And um, we work to try to remove those barriers. Those empowerment coaches, those life skill coaches can come in there and start challenging them to think about what about five years from now? What about 10 years from now? What's their trajectory? And then that creates a career for someone who's laying uh, talent pipeline, uh, connectivity in the community, not only are we focused on the moms, but we're also focused on that future generation of children that come through this program as well. We have um, a partnership now with Families First of Minnesota that's providing Head Start and Early Head Start for all of our families. Nobody can build a, a building like a Jeremiah program uh, complex by themselves. It takes a, a bunch of committed partners, it takes vision, it takes years, oftentimes, lots of funding sources. One of the most exceptional things about how Jeremiah program Southeast Minnesota came together was this incredible cross-sector support. The Coalition for Rochester Area Housing, the collaboration of the Mayo Clinic, um, the City of Rochester, Olmsted County provided funding. It was this initial cross-sector support that was really allowed us to leverage further funding from the state of Minnesota. We were able to leverage resources across systems that most places don't. There's no county organized like ours in the state of Minnesota, and very few are across the country. One of the things we could do is look at our HRA and say, hey, um, project-based vouchers, and that was one of the key financial strategies to getting this program open. You know, right as we were establishing the coalition and bringing that, that philanthropic funding was right at the time when Jeremiah program was starting to come to fruition here. And so as we looked at the innovative and different ways that we can help support affordable housing here in Rochester in Southeast Minnesota, this was one of the first projects that came forward. This is a program that has worked in and has shown a track record of success. The private and the public sectors, the faith-based communities come together for different reasons. I don't think we can do one without the other. I think we all need to contribute. It really also uh, took advantage of the unique aspects of a successful model that has a partnership between, between private foundations like our own, between individuals, and between the government um, program. So we saw that as a long-term uh, benefit for sustainability. We as a society owe them that kind of support system so the next generation can even be better than the one they came from. We are all collaborating to make the next generation even more progressive than the ones that have been behind us. They have the hope, resiliency, determination, and perseverance, but the systems that are in place make it very difficult for them to move out of poverty. It's almost a cliche to say that it takes a village to, to build a family. But it's not a cliche. All of the many faceted things that are in one's larger community that have anything to say or anything to do with helping a family raise its children, the community can add if they want. The problem is they're all siloed. They don't really communicate with each other. And the Jeremiah program is so unique in that this, this group comes together and works together for the same mission and same purpose, 